Okay, what was just going to be a one video, is, this has turned into like a four part video, so sorry about that. Anyway, um, there's a couple of things I keep remembering when I think I'm done. I keep remembering things that I didn't mention. Uh, I didn't mention the distance between these two holes. Again, for that, that bra uh, bracket that holds the, the major support bracket for the engine. Between these two holes, I use uh, decimals again. It's uh, 4.530, so a little over four and a half inches is what it amounts to. Um, so, but just go by that measurement; it should uh, should go go in nicely. Um, also, uh, I didn't. I did, th this is for that same. This is for an eight millimeter bolt too. Um, I, hang on, and I'll give you this whole dimension real quick here. Just grab my drill index and see whatever fits in here. Wow, lucky grab. That was uh, felt a little. That's five sixteenths. Yeah, it, it looks like a five sixteenths uh, diameter hole at. Add again 4.530 in decimals apart from center to center. Also, I wanted to mention about the, the six bolts that I chose to hold the, the actual hitch on. Um, these are 10.9. These are what, what uh, American standard equivalent would be to like a grade 8 bolt. So metrics, they use a 10.9 to... Uh, to say that it's a like a grade 8 bolt so I just felt more comfortable by putting grade 8 bolts into the frame instead of just you know grade 5 or because the sheer strength of these is is, is a lot greater um, just thought I'd mention that so so six um, 10.9 grade metric bolts these are 10 millimeters by 1.5 thread pitch and the length of these is 35 millimeters long okay and it measures from the under the head so from under the head here to the end of the bolt is 35 millimeters okay that was something else and I, I added a washer and a lock washer so basically it's going to go in like that all six of them okay that was another thing and also I didn't mention on that on that uh, receiver hitch that I bought from from Harbor Freight if you see this little looks like it, it was a welding uh, it was there there was a weld here this this hitch was about three quarters of an inch wider I cut it down this, in other words, this piece of metal, this whole edge, used to come out to about here. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but this this whole piece of metal here used to come out way out to here. I cut all this out. It wasn't easy. You don't have to do that. I did it because I just want it looked cleaner. It it kept it more under the bumper. It just looked cleaner. So again, I took three quarters of an inch off this whole back side. Then I re-welded. This is my weld here. And also, I wanted to show you those holes. I plugged all these holes. I probably should have welded it under here, but you know nobody's going to be looking under there. But it's going to come with these holes because this was intended to be mounted on a on a bumper so if you're wondering why that picture I showed you of that step receiver doesn't have those holes it did I, I made these plugs and I plugged them all up so from the top it, it looks nice and clean you can't even tell from the top here but those plugs are somewhere in this area or the holes would have been in this area here. Okay, those were the things that I forgot to mention. 
So that's it. Again, good luck if you choose to make it. It's a fun project. Okay, bye-bye.